Nice fighting, Ping. You were amazing. You okay? Yeah, thanks to Ping. Come on, time to report to the captain. But Shan Yu wasn't here. Please, that hunt is old news. We're gonna tell Captain how thousands of Heartless stormed the cave and Pink took out almost every one of them. Alright, so Mushu is exaggerating. That fight isn't that hard. It's just a case of it's easy to get overwhelmed and just small things can easily cause you to die in that fight, which you saw over and over again. Don't overdo it, Captain. It's just a scratch. Oh. <gasps> Captain, the enemy, where did they go? They went toward the summit. We'll stop them. It kinda is our fault. Right. You mean my fault? Sean, you and the Heartless did this, not us. Captain, if you track down the villagers, we'll handle this. Let's go. Well, that happened, so it's time for us to go up to the summit and take down the assholes who did this. Also, I know I haven't gushed about this song yet. This uh, is such a good remaster. These are Rapid Thrusters. Rapid Thrusters are an annoying, small, weak, flying heartless that typically appear in really large swarms. They die really fast, but... They appear with so many of them that it almost feels like they don't die fast enough. They typically will appear in really large groups. They also have a reaction command that they do, which actually allows you to kill lots of them really quickly. Which is really good if you if you deal with a large group of them, you can get a lot of experience off of it. But that being said, let us head up to Le Summit. Remember when I said that we you deal with rabbit thrusters and thrusters in large groups? This is exactly what I'm talking about. We're being a very large group of rabbit thrusters is being shown at us. We're equipping sliding dash because that move is damn awesome. But now let's deal with this. Now it says defeat all the heartless, but this is a timed fight where so long as you live till time runs out, you're good. Use this time to grind on these enemies. Get as many re speed trap reaction commands as you can because the more you get, the more experience you will get. Most of these enemies aren't actually here, they're actually just rendered into the background. 
Which is a really interesting and cool thing I, they did in order to have a large swarm of them here. But this is honestly a really good spot for you to just sit and try to grind out as many Heartless as you can. So these are Bolt Towers. Bolt Towers are big, they deal damage, and they have... They can honestly be really, really threatening if they get on top of you too fast. But in this case, you really don't have to worry about them too much. Because they're honestly not that scary in this type of a scenario. And 68. It's on the low side, but it's not terrible. Was nothing. I should never have doubted you. From now on, you have my trust. Thank you, Captain. Oh, man, first she uses me as a lighter, then she turns me into a cannonball. The head ancestor's gonna hear about this. You know, that's it. I give up. I can't take this no more. Come on, Mulan. Let's quit this charade and go home, girl. No shoe. What? <gasps> Mulan? A woman? It can't be! Ping! Captain! Oh boy, you're okay! You all knew, didn't you? You knew Ping was really a woman in disguise! Boo! Uh. I can't believe you lied to me! The punishment for high treason and dishonoring the army is death. Get out of my sight. Now. You're all dismissed. But, Captain... My debt is repaid. The Emperor is waiting. Move out! Mulan, I blew it. Thank you, everyone. Sorry I got you in trouble. It's no big deal. So, Ping, I mean, uh, Mulan, what are you gonna do now? Go back home. You know your daddy's gonna be steamed as a chicken dumpling. Relax. We'll take our share of the blame. Thanks. You're all wonderful friends.
Alright, so Ping has transformed into Mulan, meaning Ping has become a useful party member. Mulan has a large array of abilities, including Dragon Blaze, uh, Flame Tongue, and Mushu Fire. Really useful party member now, being completely real. So now, we actually have a new command, the Limit Command. By using this, we can perform special attacks using the help of some of our party members. Real quick, I'm actually going to go into Mulan, and I'm going to take this off because that's actually going to be really annoying. So, we actually have our first limit right now. Limits can only be used in battle, obviously. Shan Yu! He's alive! He's heading for the Imperial City! We've got to warn Shang! Now, because I'm an airhead and forgot about something, we're actually going to go into Customize and go to Mulan. Here! With customize, you could actually change three things. You change the frequency your party members use certain skills of theirs, as well as their attacking style. So this Technic Attack, where they just fight. Target Attack, where they concentrate on whoever Sora is targeting. Huddle Attack, they fight close to Sora. Party Attack, they fight things Sora isn't fighting. Sora Attack, party members do not attack and just help Sora. And relentless attack. Party members defeat their target before attacking another one. I'm going to put the party on. I'm going to put put the uh, talking. I'm going to put Mulan on Sora attack. No party attack. Excuse me. So that she does not attack what Sora is attacking. This will. I'll explain more why I'm doing this once I get to a fight coming up. But yeah, we're here in this town. We can buy more stuff on the Moogle if we need to. I don't really think we need to at this point. So we're just not going to worry about it. And let's head for- Oh, puzzle piece. There are lots of puzzle pieces in this game. I actually am going to probably at some point stop and take a look at the different puzzles. Although I know we're nowhere near completing any of them. So we're just going to run past this guy, because I really don't feel like fighting all these peoples. Oh yeah, night stalkers. Oh god! Oh, there's an ether there. That's actually really- I'm actually really glad that I picked that up. Okay, it's going to be really useful later. Oh, recovery recipe. Also- also very nice. Assault! I wasn't paying attention to what this enemy was. So, in this case, I'm just going to run past everything, only fight what I need to, and just grab my chest. Oh, we do have a strength increase, meaning we're going to be dealing more damage to all these guys. Like Jesus. Before we needed to hit the double finisher on them to kill them, now... The finisher alone is enough to kill. Which is really good, honestly. Assault Riders! Alright, we're gonna see what's in there. We can't make it on there to get that puzzle piece. We'll probably get that. We'll probably end up having to come back for that at a later time. Keep on moving. And 
treasure chest behind here. And now, let's head at the Shan Yu. We must protect the Emperor. Shang! Shan Yu is alive. He's headed this way. And why should I believe you this time? But she's telling you the truth. the courtyard and you can save the Emperor. I still love the way this sounds. This uh, song sounds. Alright, so defeat all the Heartless once again. Whoa, the game lagging there for a moment. So we're gonna use Red Rocket. This is Mulan's limit. So basically, when you limit, you get two special attack commands with using either triangle or X leading up to a limit finisher. And this limit's strong enough to clear this entire fight. <laughs> the Emperor is in danger. No time to lose. So, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drive coming up to this fight. Light. That is how long it normally takes for the drive form to change. That could be detrimental in a fight, especially since you can get attacked while that's happening. Now you'll bow to me. Okay, and we have the final boss of this world, Shan Yu. This fight is honestly not that difficult, but you need to be very careful with this fight coming up. First off, Mulan's on party attack, so that she can defend the doors because she will attack everything but Shan Yu. Now, the reason why I went Valor before this fight is because this way I get the dam I get the Valor damage immediately into the fight and don't have to wait for it. Now, by clashing with one of his attacks or blocking it, you start this reaction command. While in Valor, that reaction command chain will actually do increased damage because you have a second Keyblade. Whoa! And we win the fight. That was quick and easy. Some honey bun. Oh yeah, Mulan's the best. Mulan's the best. Now wait a minute, I'm the best. Mushu's the best. Mushu's the best.
I've heard a great deal about you, Fagolan. You stole your father's armor, ran away from home, impersonated an Imperial soldier. You deceived your commanding officer, shamed the entire Chinese army, and dishonored your family name. We get the picture. You're a young woman. And in the end... Ow. You have saved us all. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Your Excellency. Captain Lee. Take this, so the world will know what it is you have done for China. Thank you. Mulan. Yes? Sora. Sir. Donald. Goofy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you? Is that all there is to say, Captain? If you wish to win the heart of Fa Mulan, China's bravest woman, you'll have to be a bit more eloquent than that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an autograph? Thanks for everything, Sora. Now they gotta let me go back to being a guardian. They gotta! But Mushu, I thought you already were a family guardian. But, oh, <laughs> uh, no, no, don't even worry about that. That's just real technical, just for us guardians. You tricked Trick. us! No, 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 no. See, I, I just, uh, you know, I just didn't want to bog y'all down with all the guardian needs. <laughs> See, it's very complex, a lot of fine print. You wouldn't understand. Huh? Yes, it's about time to be moving on. You shall be missed. Is it okay if we come back to visit? Of course. We will look forward to your return. You two play nice. Whoa, watch it, soldier. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Sora, Donald, yeah. Goofy. Yeah. 